Good morning, everyone. It's Monday, and I hate Mondays because I have to go back to work. Blah. I don't want to go back to work. <laughs> anyway, it's Monday, and I kind of wanted to give you an update on things going on here at the homestead. Um, we are in the process of getting everything cleared up so we can get the new building in, possibly two. Um, we're going to see how that goes. The guys are going to come out tomorrow and survey and see what we have done already to clear out this property and see if we can get this building in and get it started so that way we can have our building ready by spring and we can have spring chicks. So excited. Um, something else that is going on here at the homestead is I'm trying to get everybody's buildings ready for winter. Um, I got the duck barn. I'm organizing all of their feeds and their extras. Um, getting everything put away where it needs to go, um, getting everybody's dietary needs all lined up so that way I know what's going to happen um, when winter hits. There's a couple more things I need to do as well, and that's get the ducks a new uh, ramp um, out of their duck building because I think they're going to really get hurt on that ramp, so I'm going to be looking at other options to get a ramp for them before winter hits. Um, I got a few months, so or a couple months. Now if you remember right, up here, um, Halloween, it was sleeting and snowing and freezing outside. So that's by the end of October. So I've really given myself one month and a half um, in order to have everything ready to rock and roll just in case because I just have this feeling it's going to be horrific <laughs> this winter. I also called our electric company regarding our pine tree next to the house that is like right into the electric lines. So I called them to see if maybe they could trim it out or even cut it down uh, before winter so that way we don't have any problems with this damn pine tree. It's a beautiful pine tree, but it is older and it's starting to lose uh, limbs in ice storms, so on and so forth. It's been through a lot. Um, when I came through, it was bad. It was bad. It was laying all over the place. Uh, not Ike, but it was the storm, the ice storm following Ike. It was a February ice storm, and it was a freak thing, and it really damaged this tree really badly. So we need to get it out of here. So I did call the electric company, and possibly will help with our financial situation of getting it out. <sighs> a lot going on, you guys. A lot going on here. Trying to get everything ready for winter. Um, I've almost got the cars ready to rock and roll. I need to get a few more things for his bag, apparently, because he needs more things than I do. <laughs> he saw everything. He's like, well, I need this and this and this. Well, guess what? You're going to get what I put in the back of your car. I'll, I'll fix him up right so anyway, with winter coming, that's that's our biggest thing right now is just getting everything ready for winter. That's all I'm really working on. Um, I will be doing some Kroger hauls because there are some good deals. There are some good deals with um, the coupon inserts that I got this weekend out of the newspaper. I did go and buy um, Sunday papers, so I got my three inserts. I got two Smart Source and one Retail Me Not. I am going to show you what's in this one though that is a great dollar general deal. In your digitals, there is a three off of 10 Bayer products. If you use Bayer Aspirin for a heart regiment or, or whatever, or you just wanna have Bayer Aspirin, you know, this would be a good deal for that. But with me, I use Aleve more than anything. And in this insert, there are $4 Aleve coupons for 40 count and above. There they are right there. There's some Bayer coupons and here is the $4 Aleve. Now, normally this will follow a CVS deal, so I have not gone to CVS yet. I'll probably stop sometime this week, grab my CRTs, and see what is going on. But, three off of ten. And then you've got, if you have two, you have eight dollars off. That would be eleven dollars off if they're six twenty-five a piece, which I wasn't sure, but I'm going to use that as a reference. That would be twelve fifty minus eight minus three would leave a dollar fifty before tax for two bottles of Aleve. That's a great deal and that's how I stock up. So I do a little bit of Dollar General with that um, store coupon digital with my paper manufacturer coupons. 
So hopefully I'll be getting at least two things of a leave this week. Put it into my stockpile. Um, what else is in this one? Um, the blue dry dog or cat food. Um, there was a $5 coupon in here. There are dollar coupons on their treats or their wet food. So I'm going to be looking at the blue buffalo. There's also this one here, which is going to make for a great deal. And let me show you. You don't get these very often, but you got a dollar off of one General Mills cereal. They're on sale right now for a dollar seventy-nine. So you can get your General Mills cereal for seventy-nine cents. And um, it doesn't it doesn't mention regular Cheerios but we're going to use it on regular Cheerios because I'm pretty sure that it will ring up because normally when you get that dollar off cinnamon Cheerios or 50 cents it will work on a regular Cheerios people will say that's glittering I don't think it is um, I don't think this one is so that's just my opinion and I will get more Cheerios for the ducks for winter um, now in this one I think it's this one with the amylactin front um, there are a dollar off one Kotex pads and liners and a dollar off of Kotex tampons. Hold on to these for when the sales go really good for those at Kroger um, and you'll get them free or cheap. Um, I'm trying to think which other ones were in here that I wanted to talk about. Oh, there are Huggies pull-ups and regular diaper coupons. I haven't seen those in a while. A $2 off of one of pull-ups. And then there is a $3 off of two Huggy diapers. So that's a good if you need diapers. And I'm going to tell you, you know, right now, you don't know what's going to happen with diapers and wipes and so on and so forth. So stock up while you can. Buy out. Um, and what I mean by buying out is buy different sizes. This one I'm doing for my daughter. I'm just buying sizes out. Um, so that way she will at least have one or two or three or ten of something that my granddaughter will use later. There is also a dollar off of four <laughs> rice aronis or pasta and aronis. He's kind of clingy. Okay, come on. Get him. And this would be good. I know that they're a dollar a piece at Dollar Tree and you can probably find them at Kroger or Dollar General and what a great deal. That'd be like buying three, getting one free. But to put that into your stockpile for winter or for your longer term um, preps, great, great coupon. Let's see here. There is another one. And I believe it's in this one. Here is another. Oh, it's this one with the um, Barilla pouches on the back. These are pre-made pasta pouches for a dollar off. And sometimes it makes them free at Kroger. So that's great. Now here's the other one. Now where they sell Goya products, here are some Goya coupons. It's a quarter off of any two tomato sauce, and then there's a 50 cents off of a rice mix. So if you see these at Dollar Tree, obviously they're going to be a dollar. So that would be a pretty good deal for the rice mix. Um, there you go. There's some coupons that would be great for your preps and winter stock up. What's left to do um, in winter? Well, I need to get more buckets and bins and some styrofoam coolers for outside. And the reason I'm going to get those now is because when winter comes, I want to make certain that I have all my preps, um, like flour, grain, pastas, all those things that can have little buggies. I want to make sure that I can put them out here and let Mother Nature take care of the freezing so I don't have to rearrange my freezer and get rid of stuff. Um, I would love to have had the second freezer, but that didn't work out because we had to buy the car. So you know things happen um some more things that i need to do before winter is get a microwave i kind of want to wait until black friday um to look at microwaves because i think that would be the best time for me to get a deal on that um we also need to look at um, some more shelving storage units things to put into different rooms of the house so that we can put our preps up so on and so forth so we're getting ready to get another building or two. We've got things on the move, on the move, sorry. And everybody's getting winterized. So 
Winter's coming, guys. Be prepared. Be ready. And you all have a great day. Hugs from a distance. I've got the hiccups. Hugs from a distance. If you go shopping, please be safe. And it's Monday. Bye, y'all.